Hey everyone, uh, in this video I'll be talking about something I've been getting a lot of questions on. Uh, but before that, uh, I just wanted to say I've been off for a week or so, I wasn't um, around and I wasn't getting enough Wi-Fi to actually make videos um, uh, at the place I was in. But now I'm back and I'll be, I have a few videos planned continuously about Next.js, Next.org, Superbase, um, you know, a chat scenes, um, wonderful updates on the CLI and a lot more. And even stuff on AI like Langchain and OpenAI. Uh, very interesting things coming up in the next week, so stay tuned. But today's video is not about a specific piece of tech, but uh, something in something very general to talk about. Uh, so basically, um, I wanted to talk about um, something I've been getting a lot of questions on currently. Uh, just ignore the uh, sounds which are coming on the side. Uh, but basically, I've been getting a lot of que questions in my comments and people are DMing me that uh, how did I get started with web development so young and what all things I've done to improve as a person who, ha who doesn't have a CS degree or for or any college degree at the moment for that matter. I'm actually going to college soon. But um, so yeah, that's it. So here's a video on that. To start off with, I actually wanted to emphasize on the fact that as a web developer, you don't need to have that much CS um, degree experience for most of the work which you're going to do. You might need to start to understand stuff like memory, um, you know, garbage dumping, etc. when working with specific edge cases. But in most of most of these things can be read online if you're a good reader as well. There are a ton of resources available on the internet and it's all about finding the kind of resources which work for you. Okay, so I'm going to just start with my journey so that you guys get a little, you know, context on who I am and what I do, basically. So I'm Kavan, I'm 17 and I just finished my high school. Uh, I'm going to be going to university in September and I've been doing uh, web development for about three to four years now. Um, and uh, I work with JavaScript, TypeScript, and uh, I work a lot with Next.js, uh, but that's not uh, what I started with. So I'm going to go uh, have a very short brief on how I started. So a lot of credit for that goes to my dad, who, who got me interested in web development at a very young age. Um, uh, he has experiences with networking and systems, etc. And I got exposure to the things very young and I got a lot of support from both my parents to, you know, spend time on uh, all these things. Uh, so to start off with, I learned Python in school uh, and then uh, I got interested in how to use that with web development. I wanted to, uh, I went through stuff like Django and I created a quiz platform uh, for my parents' friends, which got me up and running with a lot of core concepts for web development. <clears throat> then I gave my inductions for my school's technology club, shout out to Exemplan. Um, this was probably what changed my life around as a student developer. As a guy giving the inductions, I had no idea about the impact it would have, but basically meeting people having the same interest, uh, but more expertise in uh, the same thing was a big bonus to have, you know. I worked on dev projects inside the club. I participated in a lot of high school hackathons, um, you know, web development events, and all these were a big learning opportunity for me. Fast forward to now, I finished my high school and I was the president of um, Exim Clan for an year and I will be moving to university in a couple of months. Uh, I'm also working with Starm of AI on an hourly basis right now, which is absolutely wonderful. And the founder of the company, Dylan, is very, very nice and helpful. And uh, I'm learning a lot of uh, things, especially on the field of Langchain and AI from him and the people who are associated with Starmoff. Uh, I'm also working on a few other projects for a few companies in the field of web development and very basic AI stuff. So yeah, that's basically about me. I just wanted to give you kind of context on who I am so that this doesn't seem an irrelevant video from someone who doesn't have that much of experience. Um, so now I've had people text me about uh, good resources and how do they improve as a developer and mind the fact that these are resources which have worked for me and mostly should work for you, but maybe in a different form, all right? So here's that. Um, first of all, projects work on projects i emphasize this a lot with a lot of people um but working on projects is the best way to learn 
work on projects you do not get stuck in you know something called tutorial hell i see a lot of people making this mistake a lot of people have told me especially my juniors uh, i worked with they say they start watching tutorials over tutorials and they just get stuck there and they don't build anything productive the only way to overcome this is to just start off all right figure out a project you want to work on just you know whatever technology you are working with you will get stuck in hundreds of places yes but that is how you learn when you get stuck uh, somewhere try not to open another tutorial one point go ahead and read the docs of the thing you're using go open up stack overflow again do not blindly copy and paste from stack overflow that is not how you learn you know you can open up github issues um reddit forums uh, etc just google and find the right link um but try not to open again one more point here googling is very very important um now also now another thing which i would like to emphasize on the fact that now you can use more of chat gpt as well chat gpt you know a lot of code specific ai platforms have come up like code chat uh by storm of ai works uh, specific to langchain and nextjs 13 um and tailwind css and a lot of other things i actually used this for for fixing a bug two days ago which was very, super useful um so yeah that was uh, specific to projects and now uh, one more thing which people ask me is how to you know figure out what project to work on because uh, if you open tutorials etc what you will find is you know to do list applications you will find um say an e-commerce site uh, a very basic e-commerce site or you know something like that so for that i would say uh if you is this specific to web development but find out uh you can find out things which is uh, like this for other uh skills as well but basically find a platform which you want to clone that is a very very good way to you know learn a lot of things for example you know you make a reddit clone make a twitter clone um if you want to get into web sockets make a um whatsapp clone uh if you want to use web rtc look at google meet and read up on that and try to make a clone on that the ideal way to do this is to break it down into small chunks and then work on certain aspects of it and as you go the smaller the chunk it will be very much easier and some uh, chunks will be harder so you can categorize it like that and just try to work on specific things as well so yeah that is on projects second communities <clears throat> now this is a very important point which even i wasn't very aware of when i started off with uh, you know web development but joining you know communities uh, of developers is a very very important aspect because that is how you find out what all things are coming up new in the area of whatever you're doing uh this is not only specific to web development but in any um career um obviously i i it might seem a little ironic coming from me because i'm not even as of i don't even have a full time career yet but as a web developer i've seen this the more i interact with people um the more i start to learn things join twitter um uh, you know follow twitter uh, people like you know theo is a great person to follow on twitter shad uh, has wonderful tweets coming up because, uh, because he posts stuff on shad scenes ui uh, and uh, you know stuff like uh, the updates about next js etc you know follow people on bursel like lerob um uh, rosh uh, who is the founder and ceo of bursel all these people you need you know you can uh, follow these people on twitter and um obviously this is very specific to you know people i make videos um, the tech i make videos on but you can find other people who are relevant to that uh, certain tech and follow them so that uh, is a very very good way to get started um these are for beginners i would say uh, but if you uh, starting to get a little bit more intermediate you can join discord servers you can join subreddits obviously people are now uh, getting off reddit because of the api issue but keeping aside that subreddits are also a good way to join the community discord service is also a very nice uh, area uh, stuff like fire ships discord is a great place uh, i know josh uh, actually started a discord server right now and i keep seeing a lot of uh, questions on there 
which are very nice to you know find out what all things are happening and what all bugs people are facing and i love to you know help people with that as well and even if i have a bug i can ask there and uh, you know see uh, if someone can answer that for me okay that was two of them one was projects and one was communities and now the third point is sharing again something which has worked very specific to me because i do a lot of this now but sharing things uh, sharing things on my blog my youtube has actually helped me a lot i'll tell you why so i need to come up with content to make videos and blog articles right now the thing is uh, the <clears throat> you might not know everything which you're making a video on but because you're making a video on that or writing on that uh, your you know your conscience tells you to read a little bit deeper because you don't want to mislead people into wrong information so you read a lot more on that for example i didn't know a lot about stripes um api for e-commerce or whatever a lot before i learned a lot of that only uh, uh, when i was making the youtube video uh, over here you can find that uh, also <clears throat> you know uh, even clerk i didn't know a lot about that before i started youtube but all these things i learned a lot more because i was going much more deeper into it now that i actually had to talk to other people about it as well so sharing is a great way to get started start writing a blog hashnode is a very very good place to start writing blogs um but again do not waste a lot of time on in it if you're a beginner but uh, you know keeping track of what all you're learning is also a very very good way to do that so we're done with projects we're done with communities we're done with sharing the fourth point is inspiration uh the thing which i come uh, came across doing very recently is looking at other people's code bases for inspiration find out other good developers right look through what all things they have done in their code bases for example i will actually share my screen now this taxonomy repository is a very very good code base for next year's 13th updates you can you know there are a lot of things going on here uh in uh, route interceptions um routing layout nested layouts that uh, he has type integration in it as well the metadata files like the static favicons authentication using next auth prisma uh you know this is um just using prisma but that is there as well zord validation is very very important i actually have a video coming up on my preferred way of uh, doing working with forms and you know mutations uh, coming soon uh, on that documentation there are, there is so many uh, stuff over here which you can go through and you know the organization is so good in this i've actually uh, taken a lot of inspiration this when working with um, my code bases as well taxonomy is a great repository skate shop is also a great repository this is much more new compared to taxonomy but um yeah it's using upload thing which is very very new upload thing is used for file uploads and it is by theo as well uh you know react email i've used lot of it recently clerk or drizzle orm um, you know all these things are you know finding out other people who are using it uh, finding out find out other people who are using the same tech as you are and go through their code bases these are just two of the good examples which i have found over the recent years and you can obviously go through a lot more of them the last point obviously a lot more points can be there and these are the ones which stuck in my head and this point is uh, also uh, something which was influenced by a friend he gave me this point to add to this content but something called scheduling do not schedule stuff to learn uh, to quote him i have seen people who plan out an entire year what they learn and get restricted by it even though they have a ton of time like if you plan out you'll probably not even get done, done with what you planned this is very true and i seen this um, with a lot of people they just think you know this month you know what i'll uh, or this year you know what i'll learn all these things uh, i will schedule a, a time to learn all these things and the thing with that is the, most of the times it takes a lot more time than you think to learn something and it will you know probably uh, hinder you uh, further because you will not even get done with what you have planned uh, so 
try not to schedule stuff like that just get started whenever you have the time uh, you know uh, try to what i say is do not just start reading stuff try to build stuff uh you know for example if you're using um, chat scenes ui just go and ahead and clone the uh, clone the example and uh, tinker around with it if you want to make a stripe uh, implementation and want to learn how to do that just get a basic e-commerce site up and running it's not very tough now just get a basic database uh, query i don't know uh, something like that and get stripe running or just a basic thing which will help you you know try out stripe uh, integrations like that you know stuff like that and just get started and do if you start scheduling things you will probably fall behind on what you're doing as well and also do not uh, you know a lot i see a lot of things about following uh, road maps uh, uh, you know people come up with road maps at the start of the year uh, you know f- for front end road maps no offense to all those people who are doing that obviously uh, it works for a lot of people but uh what i'm saying is <coughs> uh don't follow a fixed road map because like if you just try uh, if you just follow it again and again you'll just stick to learning those particular things uh obviously that is a good base to start off with but uh, you should always try to branch out and look for other things as well or just don't stick to those road maps which you're going through so that was probably it for this video uh that wasn't too long i believe 17 minutes yeah till now um so yeah that was probably it i had a lot of dms coming through about how i started off and what all things i do on a regular basis uh, about these things and that i just wanted to share a video on that so i'm home now and i will uh, be a lot more regular and i have a lot of interesting stuff coming up so do subscribe to my channel and uh, uh, if you like this video like sh- and share and i will be coming w- up with great content and um, hopefully uh, in the coming week or so so stay tuned and goodbye